there have been persistent rumors of a brand new fast track citizenship by investment program coming to the heart of Europe, specifically the European Union and its Schengen travel area. I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. One thing we are always doing at Nomad Capitalist is my research team and I are staying abreast of what are the new opportunities in immigration? What are the rumored opportunities that may be coming up we should look out for? What are the opportunities that are fading away? The government's making it more difficult. They say one thing but really mean another. Here's one thing that has come across our desk and it is very interesting. There have been three different reports all unconfirmed, but three different reports from three different sources that Greece is planning to offer a limited number of citizenship by investment and economic citizenships to major real estate investors. First came across this on IMI Daily. This is an article that came out from uh, the Greek reporter. I'm going to read it to you. Greece to offer limited number of citizenships. The Greek government plans to introduce a limited citizenship granting scheme to non-EU nationals who wish to invest more than 2 million euros in the country's real estate market. It was disclosed on Thursday. Now, none of this is official. They're talking about unconfirmed sources, but this is the third source that we've, we've found. According to media reports, Greek authorities are reviewing ways to introduce a mechanism similar to the Golden Visa Plan, which currently grants a five-year residence permit to people who invest in properties more than 250,000 euros. So, this is an important distinction. A lot of countries have what's called residence by investment. Some countries have fast track citizenship. Those are different than a citizenship by investment that you'd find in Malta or, or namely in the Caribbean, where it takes a matter of months. Here's your passport, strictly an economic deal. Okay. What Greece has right now is if you invest 250,000 euros, you get a residence permit. You get a permanent residence permit. For, uh, for five years by investing that money in real estate. And you've got a path to become a citizen in the future if you live there, if you speak the language, if they're in a good mood, all of that. What they're suggesting is, Greece is looking for a way to give you the faster version, as fast as the European Union will allow it, you know, months, maybe a year. That's what they're talking about. So there is a difference. 250,000 for residents, it's gonna be a lot more for citizenship. So the article continues. According to the same reports, when this program is launched, it will offer a limited number of citizenships, most likely up to 200 per annum. Now, you heard it here first. I talked about this earlier this year. I said, I think you're going to have some countries that have a bit more sway on the global stage coming out and um, saying, we're just going to do citizenship by investment. You've got about a dozen countries doing it right now. Most of them are pretty small. You've got Malta, you've got Cyprus and the European Union. Uh, Montenegro is doing their thing. They're doing at Montenegro pace of rolling theirs out, Moldova is suspended theirs. Um, and then you've got a bunch of these other little, you know, you know St. Lucia, which I did, and, and Vanuatu, and Grenada, you know, small countries that, that have less influence. I said you would have some countries that would come out and say, we'll do it on a limited basis. And here's Greece saying, okay, 200 people, that's interesting. Now again, unconfirmed. I'm sure someone from the Greek government's going to contact me and, and get all up in arms, but this is the unconfirmed reports from the Greek reporter. Uh, the scheme will incorporate script, uh, strict terms, among which will be the obligation to, be, for the, to the investor to become a permanent resident of Greece. That's what you can get now through the residence program. Additionally, the investor will have to pay at least 2 million euros into a Greek bank account up front. That mechanism will grant citizenship to the partner, children, or parents of the investor. Uh, we'll see how, how aggressive they'll be in, in allowing different family members to come in. Up until now, the UK, Netherlands, Cyprus, Malta, and Bulgaria are the only EU member states to grant citizenship to large-scale real estate investors. That is false. There's no UK citizenship in six months. It just doesn't exist. There's no Netherlands citizenship in six months. They are rolling out a new program in the Netherlands. Cyprus, you can do it. You invest a lot of money in real estate, you get your citizenship. And that's who Greece is, is allegedly trying to compete with. They're looking at Cyprus. You look at some of the most expensive waterfront property in all of Europe now is in Cyprus. Why would that be, except for the fact that people who invest 2 million euros in property in Cyprus get citizenship? And so Greece is allegedly trying to cut into their share, so goes the rumor. Malta uh, grants citizenship quickly, but not to real estate investors. It's a donation program. Bulgaria has a program, namely for bond investors. So the media generally gets this stuff wrong. But 
The Greek scheme will be almost identical to that of Cyprus in terms of its conditions. That's going to mean a 2 million plus euro real estate investment, probably some kind of fee. There's a rumor that, that Greece would charge you a 50,000 euro maintenance fee every year. I'm not sure how that works or how you do that with citizenship, like you have to charge your citizens a fee. Maybe there's some kind of minimum tax for a certain amount of years. We'll see how that works. Um, Cyprus, in addition to their real estate investment, recently added a donation component, a small donation component, because they can. And so I guess because they can, Greece figures potentially they, they might just come in and hone in on that market. Similar programs are understandably extremely popular among wealthy investors, particularly the Chinese and Russians. That is correct. Also the Arabs. Uh, mainly because by obtaining citizenship in any EU member state, they become EU citizens, freely work and reside across Europe. And of course, they mentioned that the EU Commission is up in arms because we want anyone to come in and take a job and by any other means, but if they have money, they're evil. Very European, that's understandable. But here's the bottom line of this alleged rumored Greek program. Uh, basically, what you're seeing is more countries that need cash are saying, you know what, we have this commodity which is very valuable. Greece would be the second uh, country in the world that not only would give you access to the Schengen area, um, obviously Greece and Malta are not connected to other parts of the Schengen area at this point, you know, so it's, it is a flight, so it's not like France or something like that, but um, this is very valuable. Greece would also be, I believe, the, the first permanent visa waiver program country, so the, the first uh, country that, would, that you can just go to the United States through ESTA. Um, and so that's very intriguing. So, it's, you know, visa-free access to the United States and Canada and pretty much everywhere in the world by being a Greek citizen. Now, obviously, some of these details will be hashed out if the program is even realistic at all. And obviously, this is not going to be a cheap program. This is not Moldova, give us 100,000 euros, here's your passport, because you're getting access to the whole European Union. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. What I want to know from you is if this program does, in Z, uh, does indeed come to fruition, what do you think about it? Right? Obviously, Greece, um, not quite as laissez-faire with things like taxes as a Cyprus, but has some other benefits that Cyprus doesn't. Do you think it's worth the money? Would you be interested in this? What program would you like to see exist? Uh, this is definitely for very successful, very wealthy uh, people who can afford to invest this kind of money in Greece. But I think the interesting thing is you'll see a bump in Greek real estate prices, which uh, aren't really that expensive because largely because of taxes, instability, etc. But I think you'll probably see a bump from a lot of Chinese and, and Arab investors who would jump on this. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment below. I want to know what you think about this alleged Greek citizenship program. Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist. I wrote this book, which you can find on Amazon, to distill a lot of the stuff we talk about in these videos and a lot of the stuff I've learned over the last decade plus traveling all around the world, teaching you about how to legally reduce your taxes build your personal freedom, and create wealth faster. Definitely get a copy of this book if you want to learn more. Now, if you want to watch more videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the notifications bell so you never miss one of our new videos with more tips on how to go where you're treated best. And if you're already a six or seven figure entrepreneur and you'd like to put these strategies in place for yourself, go to nomadcapitalist.com and learn about how I can help you.